pal. Do you remember? Do you remember we did a? Uh, we once worked on a Canadian soap opera together. Of course, uh, Jacob's Patients. Uh, I played the doctor at a walk-in clinic, Doctor Charles Florenhoff. Can't that was a good time. I remember, I remember that. Yeah, I was your patient. Yes, that was a really in, in really the fun. episode. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. I mean, don't take this the wrong way. It was it wasn't that much fun. I mean, you were kind of a little difficult to work with. But I don't know what you mean. Well, for one thing, you you refused to use your own arms in any of the scenes. Remember this? Look, how many times do I have to explain this? I had very fragile arms during that period of my life. I was trying to protect myself from injury, Jimmy. Yeah, but whatever, for whatever reason, the, the bottom line was you, you refused to use your own arms during the shoot, so you used, you used fake arms, you used mannequin arms. That's correct. I used mannequin arms on the set of Jacob's Patients. Right. And then to, then to make you more comfortable, the director made everyone use fake right. arms. And I have to say, it just made things pretty inconvenient. Right. To say the least, really. Look, you're totally overreacting. You may have used fake arms, but you couldn't tell they were fake arms. The arms look totally real. I respectfully disagree. Uh, they did not look real. Actually, we weren't, we're not fooling. I have a clip. Let's let the audience decide. Dr. Flarnoff, Chip Dimson is here for his physical. Uh, thank you, nurse. Uh, show him in. <laughs> hey, Dr. Flarnoff, how are you? Hey. Look at you, Chip, all grown up. You've been coming here to the Flarnoff Clinic since you were just yay high. <laughs> but now you're yay high. <laughs> I hardly know where the time goes. Now, uh, why don't we have you uh, take a seat and we'll get your physical started. Okay. I think I'll just start with the basics here. Uh, uh, everything feel normal in the... Uh, <laughs> cranial facial area? Any complications with your eyes? Your ears? Maybe your nose? <laughs> nope. Everything, no? everything feels good. If Any I... swelling in the glandular region? No. Ah, fine. Yeah. It's all good. It doesn't hurt? No, no, it doesn't hurt. Excellent, at all. excellent. Now, I want you to uh, do me a small favor and say ah. <laughs> ah. Ah. No, I want you to say ah. <laughs> Open up wide. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. All right. Yeah. Your throat looks healthy and clear. Very nice. Now I'll go ahead and I'll test your reflexes. Okay, that's, that sounds great. I, I appreciate this. Yes. Let me just go inside my medical bag here and grab my reflex hammer. Okay. Should be right here in my medical bag. Yeah. That's where I keep my medical instruments. Yeah, okay. So I just need to locate my hammer. And then we're good to go. Okay, no problem. Yes, I, let's see, where's the patella hammer? I know what's in here somewhere. Oh! Oh, shoot! I spilled the urine sample. No, yeah, okay. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, there's the hammer. Just gonna yeah, go just ahead and the grab it here. And just, hard, see, right. Daisy? It's a little slippery. Ah. You can just, just pick it up right there. Yeah. Oh, well. I'm having some trouble accessing uh, my hammer. With your permission, I'll just go ahead and check your reflexes manually. It's fine by me. Yes. Does that hurt? <laughs> oh. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, a, a little bit. Uh, excellent. Uh, pain is a sign your neurons are firing properly. Uh, how about this? Does this hurt? Uh. <laughs> ah, yeah. That is... That is, yes, yes, that, that, that hurts Excellent. a little bit. Excellent. Yeah. Now, how about this? Yeah, uh, that. 
my knee, that's, all right, that's my thigh, yes. Yes, that, right. It does, well, everything uh, it feels like it's in working order. Reflexes seem very good. Uh, now, go ahead and stand up, and uh, let's check for your hernia, shall we? <laughs> yes. Okay. <clears throat> I guess you need me to take my, my pants off, right? Oh, no, that won't be necessary. I'll just go in through the zipper area. That's the Flonhoff way. <laughs> okay. Just trying to relax. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Nothing to be nervous about. Everything <laughs> feels yep. fine. Oh, yes. Zipper's down. Now one zipper. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. feels right. All right. Yes. All right. Just uh, relax okay. now. Okay. Oh, you're in there. You're in there. You're in there. You're in there. Wow, your your hand's pretty cold. Yeah. Oh, your testicles are very warm. <laughs> well, very nicely done. Thank you very much. Very nicely done. And now, if you'll be so kind as to bend over, what? it's time for your rectal examination. <laughs> Uh, man, your age could never be too careful about his prostate. And don't worry, I'll do everything I can to uh, ensure your comfort. Okay. I'm Are just going to go ahead and, uh, and... I'm just going to go ahead and lube up here. All right. Yes, nothing to worry about. Now then, let's get a look at your butthole area. <laughs> All right, Jimmy, hold on now. Hold on there. Oh, 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 all right, all right, all right. Yeah. You're, you're in doing there. this fine. Everything's you're, feeling you're perfectly in there. fine. You're in there. You're oh. in there. All right. All righty, then. Thank you very much. Oh. Very good. Okay. Yeah, very good, then. Oh, Jimmy, man. Chip, very good, Chip. I'm, I'm glad that yeah. that's... <laughs> now, <but> you... <laughs> you remind me so much of this other boy who comes in here named Jimmy. Oh, yeah. Do you care for a lollipop? <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Flaroff. You're, you're the greatest. Oh. Thank you so much. I'd love one. Up top? Uh, up top. Hey, wait a second. Dr. Flaroff, where's, where's your hand? Oh. Well, Chip, it seems I might have left it inside your butt. <laughs> They actually look pretty realistic. I think it worked. I think what happened off. to your jacket? Uh, I got Lou Bowl over. <laughs> Alec Baldwin, everybody. Do not miss the 30 rounds. Season finale tomorrow night, 10 p.m. on NBC. Maggie Q joins us next. They love you. They love you, Alan Baldwin. I got a big cushion coming out of my butt over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you can take that home. It's the can home I game. This? It's the home game, yeah. yeah. We put it disguised as a pillow. Is that a blue ring you have on there? Is it a blue ring? Is it a ring? What is that? It's none of your damn business. <laughs> I just I didn't know what it was. It's a hairband. Everybody says the same thing. If you wear a ring on this finger, it's a hairband, and I wear it to remind me of some things. And everybody's always like, you know, did you get married? Yeah. Like, were you a moron? No, I didn't get married. <laughs> what? Like, what, do, 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 what does it remind you of? Is it something that's personal? That's damn business. Personal? <laughs> <laughs> hey, last time I saw you, by the way, it was at the, you got honored, the Museum of, moving, of the Moving Image. And you came you. and thank you. Yes, thank you for you coming. Were you were phenomenal. That was oh, one of the most you. fun uh, It evenings. was a good group of people, yeah. It was I mean, great. It was really sweet Michael of you to Keaton come. and Tina Fey. Keaton and, came, yeah. He uh, was, and then he did 30 Rock with us. He did an episode of the show. Michael. Did he really? Yeah, he was, he was great. It was so great to see him. Oh, he's so he good. He is one of the funniest people that ever lived. Ever. I mean, but the, going through your list of... Uh, do, do you like those things with people honoring you? Do you get embarrassed? No, I mean, I no, no. Yeah. 
Wow. You don't get embarrassed or you don't mind? No, you don't want to do, you don't, you don't do that. I oh, like doing that a lot. Yeah, yeah. Paul but... Newman once had the greatest line to me. I asked him if he would be the honoree at an event, he and Joanne, and he said, uh, he said, he wrote me a note that said, uh, Joanne and I respectfully decline uh, your request, he says, as we do not want to catch a case of honoria. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he wrote that. I love that guy. Yeah. What a cool guy. Yeah, he was cool. And, you you uh, didn't work with him, right? Did, oh, yeah, of course. No. You, no, you didn't. No. I'm thinking of... <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking of yeah, yeah. I was in no, Miss Cassidy. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, no, when they didn't. go off the cliff, no, I was thinking of Jack I'm, the guy. I'm on the ridge. <laughs> but uh, I saw the iconic class with him and Robert Redford. Did you ever see that? Uh-huh. And it was fantastic. Because you think Robert Redford's cool, but not when he's in the room with Paul Newman. Paul uh -huh. Newman's the coolest well, guy. Well, I'll let you say that. Well, he's the coolest guy in the world. Oh, yeah, yeah I'll say that. He's the coolest guy in the world. But look at like some of the credits. You have Beetlejuice. You were amazing right. in that. Thank you. Working girl, working girl, you were great in that. Hunt for Red October, are right. you joking? You're, you're very sweet, thank you. I'm the submarine doing it up. Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Am I dead? Did I die? Yes, you did. This is what is heaven is. Is that why you're doing this This is what whole... heaven is. No, I'm just, I just love seeing all these Well, this is heaven. This is heaven. With heaven. you, here, like this. This is heaven. <laughs> You've always said oh. that. Yeah, exactly, I have. <laughs> But I just loved it. I was like, oh God, and we didn't even get to the 30 Rock part yet. And I was like, I just love this dude. I well, love I you, Alec Baldwin. I have, I have loved making, making films, but I have loved doing the TV show. I mean, it really has been the most fun, and I love everybody on the show. I love uh, 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 Tina, and all the writers are incredibly smart people. But I really love working with Tracy, and uh, uh, who I... Tracy <clears throat> Morgan is, yeah. Tracy, who when I came on the show with you, we did the impersonation of Tracy. Everyone did. You, you, right. you Which have I a great Well, I don't want to do an impersonation so much of him now as it was a line he said. Like I said to him, he was sick, as you know. And he was very, he was very sick. sick, and he had to have a kidney transplant. He's doing better, right? He's doing much better now, and he got a, he, he got a kidney transplant. And I said to him one time, I go, I don't know a lot about it. I don't know anybody intimately who had a very bad form of diabetes and was that sick. And I said, what was it like? What is it like when you have that kind of thing? And he literally looked at me and he goes, <clears throat> he goes, well, my sugar was so bad, Alec, I could pee on my pancakes. <laughs> We all just sat there, me and McBarren, and we were like, oh. That is so good. That's so bad. I love it. He makes everything funny. Uh, right out. You got the season finale tomorrow of 30 Rock. We have the season finale tomorrow, and uh, it's at the, at the end of our fifth season. And I, I want to uh, send out a, a hello and love to Jane Krakowski, who I worship. I love Jane. She's and she had a baby. Mom. She had a baby. Did she have a baby? She and her boyfriend had a baby. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I love that. I saw her uh, out in London. She did uh, Guys and Dolls. Yeah, she won the... Uh, uh, the uh, Olivier Award for Best Actress in a Musical. She was off the charts. She yeah, can she's sing. And she she, can... Jane is so talented, she's... and I love Jane to death, and, uh, and, and I want to say, send her my love and congratulations. She had a baby. So, speaking of singing... This is such a showbiz thing here on my show. I'm like, you know, congratulations, Jane, that you had your baby. You know? <laughs> what, what's I'm not going to pick what, up and write a note. <laughs> I'm going to say it on Jimmy's show. I know yeah. you're watching. <laughs> and, uh, Man, you really got Hollywood. Gross. <laughs> Gross. You really got Hollywood. I, I want to write her a, a note. Yes, of course. I'm going to send her a baby. Speaking gift. of singing, though, uh, you're going to be doing some singing. You're in the Rock of Ages. What is going? Are you a singer? I begged you not to bring that up. Oh, come on. That's so mean of you because no, you not do mean. sing. In, oh, I don't sing yes, well. Oh, come on. I do impersonations of people. Isn't that funny that you say that? Because sometimes you can sing when you impersonate someone singing, but you yourself can't sing. I become very self conscious. But I'm going to go do the movie Rock of Ages with Tom Cruise. That's awesome. And Julianne Huff from Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and, uh, um, uh, uh, and Russell Brand is my sidekick. He and I are like the guys that own the club. Oh my gosh, Russell it's gonna Brand be hilarious. It'll be great, absolutely. Yeah. It'll be good. So, I, people always ask you, because you're very, very political, Alec Baldwin. You're a very political man. Um, people always, what they're going, like, are you going to run for office? Are, I mean, because you're a very like political, political dude. But I'll tell you something. The thing I think that's interesting about politics today. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. The thing that I think is really interesting about politics today. <laughs> I know why this is here for you, because you can bite it. <laughs> yes. Um, it's Trump. Trump running for president. Now, I just want to say yeah. two things. One, Trump running for president. Trump is running for president is not a bad thing. Trump winning the presidency, that's a bad yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Trump running for president is a good thing. It's fun. It's fun. Now, I want to tell you this real quick because you do a good Trump. Trump, when he, uh, uh, my funny thing about Trump is that he always has this very revisionistic attitude toward people if he likes you or not likes you. Uh -huh. So give me Trump now, like okay. you throw things, like I'll f tell you who's supporting your candidacy and who's not supporting your candidacy. And, and you, you just rewrites you history. Tell me your, you, well, you tell me your view of them and how it's colored, how Trump would color this. Okay. So let's just say that we got an announcement that Danny Bonaducci endorsed you for president. Okay. okay. I have to do his face first. <laughs> Danny Bonaducci is a beautiful, beautiful man. He's got a great voice, golden, beautiful, 24 karat golden voice in the radio. The Parsons family would be nothing without the great Danny Bonaducci. Fantastic. Huh? Then, then you find out. Then you find out the next day that the Beatles have come out against your campaign. What does he say the next day? Oh, he's, they're anti. They're they, they're, they, they, they are against Trump for president. I never liked these guys, the Beatles. <laughs> Who are they? Look at their haircuts. They look like Mo from the Three Stooges. <laughs> they should sing more like Danny Bonaduce, who has a beautiful, beautiful golden voice. <laughs> come on, get happy. <laughs> yes. Come on, get happy is my slogan. I want to so show that is Trump. He's like he's for you. Yeah. If you're for him, you don't like him. And if you don't like him, you. he's gonna crush you. He will crush you. Yeah. Yeah. I ran into him the other night at the. I saw him at some event, and I said, I, "I'm doing an impersonation of you. I just want to let you know before you see it. I'm doing an impersonation of." And he goes, when, "When are you doing it?" I go, "I'm doing it. It's gonna be on the show tonight." He's like, "It's on the show tonight." I go, "Yeah." He goes, "Jimmy's doing an impression of me to, to everyone at his table." Yeah. I go, "No, just just <laughs> yeah. it's between us, buddy." Yeah. He just announced it to everybody. <laughs> like, oh, you might not Could like you imagine, it. like, Trump, like, in the times of Christ? You know what I mean? Like, he was back there. Yeah. Like, Trump, like, meets Jesus. He's like, take a bath, cut your hair, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> he's he's getting a, he get, he get a nice necktie. <laughs> yeah. And don't get a tattoo. Yeah, don't get a tattoo. Uh, I want to show everyone a sneak peek of tomorrow's season finale of 30 Rock. The this one is and only. Where, this is where we have a gas leak. <laughs> We have a gas leak in the building, and it all and affects all of us neurologically. <laughs> okay, good. What's so funny about brain? <laughs> You're about to see. see here's here's, here's Alec Baldwin in Thirty Rock. <laughs> 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 Diamond Boy, you got it. Oh, so good. More with Alec Baldwin.